Hey family, Danny here with another horror couple. And this one is a happy one. I, it is. I promise you guys. I want to talk to you guys about Nancy and Glenn from 1984's Nightmare on Elm Street, directed by Wes Craven. There were nine films in all. It, there was a TV series, countless comic books. Oh my gosh, if you guys have not had a chance to read any of these then you guys do not know what you are missing out on. I love the Nightmare on Elm Street comics. And I'll post a few pictures from them on my Insta. But back to Nancy and Glenn. Okay, first off, okay, Nightmare on Elm Street also spawned a legendary slasher, uh, a, a horror icon in Robert England. We saw him in V before this, and then he jumped into Nightmare on Elm Street, and he made Freddy Krueger his own. And who is Freddy Krueger? Freddy Krueger is a child killer who unfortunately got off, and the parents decided, well, they decided they were going to take things into their own hands, and so they burnt him up. But somehow, Freddy was able to come back and he was able to reach out and touch people through their dreams. And if you died in your dreams, well, you died in real life. And so he started targeting the children of Elm Street. Nancy, young Nancy, played by Heather Lincolnkamp, our beautiful, lovely final girl. She is a child of one of those pairs, as is Glenn, played by Johnny Depp in his first movie role. This guy had to get a ride to the audition from Nick Cage. I mean, there Charlie Sheen originally wanted this role, but he wanted too much money. Christian Slater was up for it. There were so many young actors that were up for this role. And Wes Craven said his daughter said, pick Johnny, he's beautiful. <laughs> and he's like, oh, he's sickly, he's sickly. And it's just amazing how, this, and he still has respect he talked about this on the actor's studio for this role. But back to who he was. Glenn is such a nice, caring, sensitive guy. He was originally written as a jock. But of course, Johnny Depp, if you've seen the film and you see and if you know young Johnny Depp is built, and even now he was never like a big, you know, muscular type. So it kind of got you know, I don't want to say edited down, but he inhabited the role and made it his own. He has his sweet, endearing, loving quality, which is quite the opposite of Ron, played by Nick Corey, um, who's the jock in the film. It's just, it, it, you know, he's just so, like I said, endearing is the word that comes to mind whenever I think of him. And he listens to Nancy. He He's, he's caring and unlike Micah, yes, that's a dig at Micah from Paranormal Activity, Glenn is a good boyfriend. Even when he doesn't see evidence of Freddy Krueger, even when he's like, I don't, this is not making any sense. I really think our friend, you know, because their friend Tina had gotten, you know, murdered by Freddy and you know, she had expressed that she was having dreams about this guy with these razors for fingernails and Nancy too. So they kind of shared this. And even though this stuff was sounding really bizarre to Glenn, he was still there for her. He was still supportive of her. He still listened when she said, look, I want you to watch me sleep. You know, and if I, if I seem like I'm struggling or anything, wake me up. Like he was right there for everything that she was going through. Every, every suggestion that she had, he was the quintessential example of a supportive boyfriend. You couldn't get any more supportive and caring. I love this guy and I love this relationship and for it to be a young relationship and for him to be as mature as he was. I mean, literally, like I said, another dig in Micah, he was much more mature than him and they're, they're in high school and we don't know exactly if they're freshmen or sophomores, but we know they're young and to, to, to be, like I said, as understanding as he was, and to be right there with her and to not like try to make fun of her or make fun of the situation. He really just kind of went with the punches and was just like, look, I, I care about you. I'm there for you. And the biggest problem they had in their relationship really, other than like their 
got Freddy Krueger as a specter over was really his parents. And ultimately, um, you could say that it is his father who is their, de- the, who institutes the demise of their relationship in more ways than one. If you haven't seen the movie, which I hope you have seen Nightmare on Elm Street by now, but if if you've had if you have then you know what i'm talking about so this again is an example i have to say of a happy couple it didn't they didn't quite make it to the end but i i dare say that i think this would have been in game like i can literally see nancy and glenn like riding off into the sunset had things been a little bit different and there wasn't this guy named Freddy Krueger running around. So I told you guys there would be a happy couple and here, here it is, Nancy and Glenn from Nightmare on Elm Street. So let me know what you guys think, like and subscribe, and as always, stay different. Bye.